Hi everybody, Miss Jill here. It's flower day. So I had a request from my friend's son Declan. He wants to see flowers. So we're gonna draw some flowers and you can paint them or use pastels, markers, crayons, anything you want once we learn how to draw them. So our inspiration for the day is Georgia O'Keeffe, one of my favorites. So she painted a lot of large, paintings of flowers. They were big paintings. They got a lot of attention. Um, when she first started painting in the 1920s, when people started uh, paying attention to her flower paintings, she, um, they would flock to see her because they had never seen, they or not they had never, but they, they didn't see as often um, women who were artists. But now uh, there are tons of women artists out there. But um, then they started to realize that it wasn't just that she was a, a, a woman, that she was a great artist. So uh, let's just start in with a flower drawing. We'll do, um, we'll start with one that's like kind of, I call it like sort of a rose carnation um, combination. It's not really a flower, but it's like imaginary almost. But okay, so let's take start with a little shape like a bean right then you're gonna go make a slightly larger one around it do it so you can see it and another one now you you should draw with a pencil so you can erase but I want you to see what I'm doing so all right so then they're very they're just think of like a lettuce leaf or um, you know, it's just kind of loose and flowing. And then each one is gonna get a little bit bigger, like that. They loop around. And they get a little wider as you go. And they get a little bigger. And keep going around and around. And you want this to be pretty big, so we're gonna keep going around towards the edge of the paper. So, there you go. And they just have like pretty loose petals. Yes. There you go. And now, I'm having trouble seeing it because I'm upside down, but you wanna keep going until it looks round. And large. Let's see. We need another. I need another one here to even it out. Maybe I'll put one on the top and down here, down here. Whatever you have to add to make it look like a nice round flower. I'm gonna put one more over here, just a little. And then you could put um, a leaf out the side here, right. or you can put a couple, you can put a bunch of leaves, it's up to you, maybe I'll put one down here too, let's put one here, just give it a nice sleep. look like that, so I'm going to use um, chalk pastels because it'll be a little faster to show you and I think it looks nice. But you can use water, like I said, watercolor paint is great. So you almost always start with a background and you're just gonna loosely fill in your background. The chalk pastels are fun, they're quick and they're, you can usually find these beautiful colors. Fill this in. And, okay. and then you can leave it with a rough texture or you can smooth it a little. This is one time where using hands is okay, fingers for this. Usually for graphite um, pencil drawings, we don't do that the oils in your hand are a problem with the graphite, but this works. All right, now 
We do the background first, almost always, because when something like that happens, like I, where the um, pastel goes in the flower, you just erase it, or if you were using paint, you just lift it out. Okay, there's that. Now pick a color. Now yours isn't going to be in black marker. It looks a lot better if it's not in black. Now what should I do? Maybe pink? All right. So if you're painting, um, do just go all over the whole thing with one color. Now I'm going to go all over this with the pastel, but it should be, I only used marker so you could see it, but it should be um, a light pencil so that you can see the pen, you can see the pencil, but nobody else can really see the pencil. Let me do this so you can see it. Right. I'm just going to cover, you see how these are on the side, like you cut them in half, or I mean just break them, they're easy to break, and then they're easier to work with than if it's a whole piece. Now, I might kind of wipe my hand. All right. So you're going to blend your flower. And you do the same thing with paint. You just fill the whole thing with paint. Now you're gonna, if you paint it, at this point, you have to wait for it to dry before you do the, um, the final um, sort of little outlines. So let's do our leaves. And you just fill in the leaves. I would do a light green first, Oops, so you can see it, and then where you see marker would be a um, pencil, so you would go in with a darker color green, and then give a little blend, and if you want you could put some little character lines there to make it look nice, tap it, um, do the same down here. And fill this in, give it a little blend, right? Um, so at this point, you take either a darker version of your paint. You can use any color, yellows, nice, purple, blues. Um, so you take a darker version of your paint, or if you want to use pastel or crayon or marker, a darker version of your, um, uh, your whole flower. And then cover over all those lines with color. And this is what really brings it all together for you. It makes it look so nice. And just go over those lines. And then if you're using pastel, you might want to do, see how that, that really makes it look nice when you add these, um, you add the, the definition so I would just like sort of tap it and blend it in with your with your petals some of it you can blend in a little more so you have some different tones of your color and it's gonna look great I'm not gonna do the whole thing now because you can imagine at this point what the finished one will look like and I think that's that's fine so some of my students might have done this in watercolor already but um I would say you could try it again with different colors and different mediums. The medium is what you're using. Remember that? Uh, whatever paint or pastel, crayon, color pencils. You could do all different flowers. Or if you've done the big flower in the middle before, you could do um, like three in a row, like maybe one, two, three like that, and then put a color background. Or you could do a big one up here and a small one down here or different, or the diagonal's always nice. Okay, so our second choice is, this is just to help you draw any um, petaled flower, like a daisy. So, oh, I'm gonna use my marker so you can see. So you need to establish your center, put a little dot, and then take a ruler and go straight down the middle and go straight across the center. Let me try to do this. And go diagonal through the center 
Now these would all be in pencil. These are symmetry lines. You know, I talk about that a lot. I'll try to hold this down. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. Uh, I have to keep it straight. That would be straight if you did it at home. <laughs> okay, so this is the idea to start with. So these would be done in pencil, and then it will make it easy to do your center circle, right? Now, um, you could always take something round and trace it to get a perfect center. So that's another little hint. Uh, I'm just doing a, a quick version for you. So first thing, this keeps the petals looking even. So you go up on this side towards the top, then you go down on this side, and it helps you to see to make it even when you have these symmetry lines and over this way, over this way, this is a tough one to draw upside down, but I think you get the idea. And then here, draw a petal here, now draw one here, and that center line that you'll erase later when you're using pencil makes it easy to make even petals, right? So then, now that you have that, now you have these um, eight petals established. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. <laughs> then you can put the ones that kind of go behind it and fill it out. And that's what a real flower, you know, usually like a sunflower will uh, layer like that. Good, so you put, just fill in, in between, and Depending on how many you put down, you could fill in, um, you know, fill in a lot of them, right? So you erase those center lines, erase these lines, and you'll be left with a flower. It'll look better when you do it at home because I'm doing this upside down. <laughs> so, um, and again, you could do this on watercolor paper and then paint it, or you could do the pastels again and fill in all your colors, however you like, and do the same thing, uh, do a background first, of course, I'm, not, I'm doing a faster version for you, and um, do again over your pencil lines, cover your pencil lines with a darker version, you can either paint with a thin brush or in pastel, and then give it a little blend. Um, and this sunflower is making me think of Vincent Van Gogh. Maybe next time we'll do a Vincent Van Gogh inspired piece. But um, today we did flowers. So there you have two great flower drawings. And um, you can look up Georgia O'Keeffe. She lived from 1887 until 1986. And um, they're beautiful pictures online. So maybe you could be inspired to do your flowers like one of hers. And... Um, and that's it. So keep drawing and have fun and I'll uh, see you next time.